Assalamualaikum. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Today we would like to present uh, our subject uh, high voltage engineering about literature review to compare the electrical electrical performance on enamel and captain wire. Before that, let me introduce uh, our, ourselves. My name is Nen Hazrina Izati. My metric number is 184-56. My name is Nen Wafa Shara Dabini Rizal and my metric number is 182347. My name is Nen Aida Natasha Binti Ismail. My metric number 182160. My name is Nazir Binti Ibrahim and my metric number is 182812. My name is Nen Wafa Shara Dabini Rizal and my metric number is 
LIPT perform on two-sided metallized sample and show a single charge layer located close to that corresponding to the range of the electron. This is due to three reasons, which is first one is ohmic relaxation, second dipole alignment, and that is originate from free existing charge in the samples. For the inference of quantity of deposited charge, if the surface potential is raised above 400 volt, the surface layer reverses its sign. As shown in the diagram, the reverse surface peak in the right part at F can be explained by breakdown during pressurization. The breakdown deposits a positive charge, which overcompensates the negative surface charge. Next is phase charge distribution for enamel wire. It used improved pulse electroacoustic PEA method to measure the phase charge distribution. In, in improved PEA system, the new voltage applying system which enable to apply the voltage through two lines for DC and pulsive voltage separately is contrived. So this is the figure of improved PEA system. The DC high voltage is applied to a core conductor of the enamel wire, which terminals are connected the ball shaped electron peaks apart from the measurement point. <coughs> the DC voltage is applied to the conductor of the wire, and this is the result. For the positive voltage application, the peak at the left hand side, uh, the blue line, show the position of the lower grounded electrode. The peak signal of the induced negative charge on the grounded electrode was observed at the left hand side in the figure. In some cases, LIPT has provided more resolution than PA and certainly it has the potential to give more detailed results in if pressure pulse is four times shorter than the one of PA. Also, it does not detect the charge at the electrode giving a cleaner signal from the sample. measurement 
of surface uh, potential decay and this is a figure for the schematic arrangement of the charging system for surface uh, potential measurement and for the uh, chromium outside powder the special test cell is uh, shown in figure 2 which is uh, to measure the dielectric properties of powder ok this is uh, the result based on the experiment and you can see from this figure uh, the decay process was slow for both elements which can be related to the low level of the electrical conductivity so the potential decay process was faster for the phase element than the standard one so if you can see here for the time uh, 10 to the power of 5 the, the phase element almost a 50% and for the standard is about uh, 80% so the difference in the decay rate is likely due to the presence of the conductive uh, chromium outside particles and into the top full of the three elements next I pass to my friends In this research, two parameter wellbore distribution is applied to statistically analyze the influence of the thermal exposure and immersion in water on the electrical breakdown behavior of the eye. So, with longer heating time or higher temperature, the linear fit to the measure data sheet toward lower dialect strength and river decreasing flow indicate greater dispersity in the measure dialect strength value the scale which is parameter which is alpha and the shape parameter beta obtained through less square regression are applied here to quantitative quantity, quantitatively Analyze the impact of thermal exposure on breakdown behavior of the eye. The depends of the alpha and beta on the heating time and temperature is plotted in figure 5 and 6 respectively. Both alpha and beta decrease with increasing heating time or temperature. Statistically, the shorter period thermal exposure at 450 to 480 Celsius significantly decrease the dialect strength of the PI sample and give rise to much more random dispersed with point in PI field. Okay, this is captain effect immersed in water to dialect stretch. The straight, the straight line fit to each data set move toward lower value of dialect strength with increasing immersion time Moreover, slope R of the line decrease as immersion time increase. Alpha and beta parameter are obtained via less, less square regression. Figure 7 show how alpha and beta decrease with longer PI immersion in water. So, as shown in figure 8, number of significant further change in either weight gain or dialect strength of PI was observed after immersion in water for more than 24 hours. This observation is in line with the statement in the reference that PI is separate with moisture after immersion in water for 25 hours. So next I will pass to my friend. So the number of so the number electric properties uh, as shown in the figure two, the result of the, the result of the measurement show that the PG section and section voltage were lower in case of free and unbreak. That can be considered as the effect of filter. 
So the addition of highly depressive chromium oxide into the vein insulating polymer provides an enhanced electric field localized on wire surfaces close to the distal uh, particles. So the electron thermal edging test on enamel wire. Uh, they have test the on the voltage. So when the voltage applied is uh, five thousand, the times the times the time for the for it to break down is seven thousand one hundred sixty sixty seconds. Uh, and what uh, when the three thousand bp three thousand bpp voltage was applied, uh, the time the time taken for it to break down. Increases to sixteen thousand one hundred sixty one thousand five hundred and seventy four seconds. So uh, we can conclude when we can conclude that when the voltage applied is increased, uh, the time taken for it to break down also increases. So this is the figure life course for both the positive enamels. Uh, we have two types enamels, which is a uh, conventional enamel, 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 and nano composite enamel. Um, uh, the, the black one is uh, PWM uh, uh, applied. When the when the voltage increases, the time taken. The time taken, the time the time taken for it to break down, uh, is it, it increases. So next, uh, for the captain, the captain, the dielectric sheet breakdown test on captain. Uh, the relationship between the breakdown strength and the thickness of the captain sheets in air and uh, LN2. The break. The breakdown strength of captain decreases as the thickness increases, and the breakdown strength tends to saturate at uh, 91.4 kV. And the breakdown strength of captain decreases as the sheet thickness uh, increases. Next, the breakdown strength tends to saturate at 115 kV per millimeter for cap uh, for captain. Uh, as conclusion, the captain has better dielectric properties in both A and LN2. So, this is why I just uh, explained just now the relationship between the breakdown strength and the thickness of the captain ship. So, that's all. Thank you.